hello everyone welcome to another video today i want to take you guys along with me on rearranging my kitchen and unboxing new kitchen items so guys this is what my kitchen currently looks like it's not as big as my dream kitchen obviously but you know for now it's serving its purpose and the major issue i have right now with this kitchen is the counter space because as you can see it's occupied with a lot of things so i want to take them out so i have enough counter space while i'm cooking or doing any other thing in the kitchen so the first thing i will be unboxing is this foldable shelf which I got from an Instagram vendor and this is where I'll be transferring most of the things on the counter space. Now this shelf came already assembled which is what I really like because I didn't have to do anything, only fixing the tires. I got this very thick wooden tray when someone sent a food tray to me and I'll be using it for my onion and my Irish potato or sweet potato which will be at the bottom of the rack. The next item I'll be unboxing is a black plate rack and I know from the screen you can already see a plate rack and yes this plate rack has served me well in fact there is nothing wrong with it but also i'm not someone that loves so many colors in my space so this green was not just doing it for me and i decided to change it to a black plate rack hopefully in the nearest future when i have my dream kitchen i would definitely install inbuilt plate racks So this is exactly what I'm complaining about. The counter space is so choked up that I can barely get anything done there. Even while installing the plate track, I had to move over to the other side because I couldn't move my hand properly on the counter space. Now this is what I experience on a daily while I'm trying to cook in the kitchen. And that's why I've decided to clear up this counter space and to give the kitchen a different look entirely. So the third item I'll be unboxing is this 7 in 1 plate rack that I also got online from an Instagram vendor. guys i created my own personalized stickers for the containers i don't know if you can see my little tilda's kitchen right under the name of the spice okay once i was done designing i just sent it to my husband to print it out and thankfully the printing came out really okay just going to cut out the label and use a transparent tape to place it on the container Obviously, this method is not going to be practical if you're working with a lot of containers, so it will be best for you to just purchase the already made sticker from the vendor.
I actually have a lot of spices which I use in my kitchen but because the spice containers are just seven in number I had to work with the seven most used spices which are all what I have labeled on the spice containers while the remaining of them are all neatly arranged in one of the cabinets. The next kitchen item I bought is this liquid soap dispenser and a sponge holder which was much needed honestly because I really hate the stress of pressing out money fresh while washing plates but this um, dispenser has made it a whole lot easier for me. So for this next item I'm going to explain much later why I bought it. Finally, the last but not the least item I got is this 10 liter storage container for rice which I really like because it has a small opening on the cover where you can easily take out any amount of rice you need without opening the entire storage container. So I decided to leave some things on the counter like the spice rack. And I'm placing it in that position because it is close to the gas cooker and it will be easy for anyone to reach out for the spices while they are cooking. Also, beside it, I'm going to be placing the oil dispensing bottle and I'm also going to be putting the set of knives there. So guys, this is the most interesting part of this entire project for my husband because when I was done with the menu, I sent it to him and he was so happy because he said the menu looked so rich and he would be hungry every day. So I decided to make a menu because for the longest time, I always freestyle in the kitchen. Like whenever I wake up, I just say, oh, today let's eat this or we've not eaten this in a while, let's eat it today. But I feel like with the timetable, it's going to make it easier for me to plan what we will eat daily so at the other end of the counter i'm placing our teacups there because we use them regularly and i just wanted to leave them there for easy access
guys this was the next day and i just got back from the market and here i was just sorting out the things i got and this was actually impossible to do in this kitchen before and because of that i will always do it on the dining space but now because i've cleared up the space i can do my food sorting here which i'm really happy about because that way i don't have to mess up the dining anymore So I got this oil dispensing bottle because I usually buy my granite oil in the bigger size and this bottle will just make it a lot easier for me to use while I'm cooking. since yesterday it's been so easy for me to work in the kitchen now because now i am not managing any space again everything i'm doing i'm doing on this counter and i'm loving this new kitchen of mine honestly because it has made my work a lot more easier and the truth is guys even if you love cooking if you don't have like if your kitchen is not comfortable enough or you don't have the right equipment you're just going to see yourself complaining so for me i feel like anything to make your cooking easy you just do it because that's the only way you would have to cook every day without getting so exhausted from it so personally for me there are still a lot of things i would like to get in my kitchen because i know they will make my life a lot more easier and they will make my kitchen experience even better Thank you. 